mysticism where it's like, well, you know, magic is when you get people to, when you change people's reality, and you can do that by telling them a story, and now their reality is different. So that's a magic spell. And it's like, mm, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I'm working magic with you. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is like a, a four-hour ritual here. <laughs> Me with my $800 sending stone I call the computer. <laughs> so, hey, Tito. So, um, uh, Rafferty won't be joining today. I guess everybody saw that. Yes. Yep. So, so it's just gonna be us. Yes. Yeah. And if uh, are you all ready? Uh, yep, okay. I'm ready. I got my water and everything. My, I just was taking a sip of my tea. That jar of peanut butter. Uh, uh. So then, uh, Kriven, could you please, or uh, Zero, could you please recap? Last time on Lancer. Uh, last time, we, after some time trying to organize the militia and secret underground hacker groups, we decided to escort some engineers into the mountains to set up uh, some OmniNet transmission towers, which will help bring the internet to the entire colony. Or something to that uh, general effect. While setting up the last tower, we were ambushed by a very large force of the insurgents on this planet, but managed to ward them off with the high ground. After returning to Evergreen, we were told to check on a southern outpost that had suddenly been completely abandoned. After determining that there was no foul play, we tracked them into some southern mountains, and negotiated with them to join up with us instead of deserting. Afterwards, we've uh, returned to Evergreen to continue our story. And now, the thrilling conclusion. <laughs> yeah. The thrilling conclusion comes in uh, two seasons or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, you are uh, back in Evergreen, and I guess you uh, all do your usual waiting game. So what uh, do you do? Yep, seems like it. So I suppose this is the time for downtime. Yes. All right. So who wants to go first? Um, I want to do the same thing I always do. <laughs> Try to take over the world. I think I've already got that. I haven't heard anything back about my, uh... Well, actually, no, this is another downtime. Sorry, somebody else has to go first. I have to refresh myself. There's roles I have to make unrelated to whatever I choose. Okay. So, I guess that just leaves me, and... Uh, while we've gained some information about our enemies, we still don't really know, like, who they are, or who they talk to, or what they're even after. I need to do some kind of information digging. Maybe find a person who happens to know. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so this might be like a find a contact sort of thing. Let's see, where are the downtime things? I have... Uh... There we go, debrief downtime. Seventy six. All right, so it's not powered cost. I'm not getting to drink. I'm not buying any time. Gather information sounds like perfect. Page eighty five. Oh, yep, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so I do have the skill get a hold of, and this seems like I'm trying to get a hold of some information. <laughs> yeah, then uh, go ahead. All right, let's let's see that one. 
Uh, he came out 11 total. That's good. Let's see. So what does that say? So yeah, I mean, uh, you basically already figured out that the Hassinians are survivors of the first contact 500 years ago. There was a total biome collapse employed, but uh, not due to uh, the anti-air of the aliens, not everybody could get evacuated in time, and so people were left behind. and. They supposedly were dead. Hmm. So, so and... then, what would their goals be right now? I mean, by uh, uh, nobody uh, got a hold of a living Hassinian so far. So, but yet these guys have like Hassinian looking armor so yeah. it's very strange and uh so basically it's a still guesswork mm. well it'd be really nice if we could capture someone alive but we haven't quite had that fortune yet yes i guess that just sort of remains an operational goal then uh, so I guess let's say I didn't really get any information. Could I like ask a slightly different pertinent question then, or just like add nothing? I mean, it's uh, let's see, uh, yeah, ask a different question. Uh, okay. Uh, where could we expect them to attack from next? So. Given that last time they say, like, attacked us from the south in Omni-Node, and a couple of times they've attacked from the north into the, uh, Merrick Town. Yeah. Uh, the first... Ah, uh, do you see... Okay, sorry. Uh, do you see my ping? Yes. Your first contact was here, and uh, they attacked some uh, smaller uh, singular houses uh, outside, but they also attacked the power station, so the attacks are mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah, very omnidirectional. Yeah, I mean, if they uh, took care to walk around in a big circle, they could have a single base of operation. That you could find, but uh, then, yeah, they could mask where their uh, bases with uh, if they add a day or so on to their marsh. Right. If they weren't attacking like so far out, I'd almost say maybe they have something to do with the river. But there's a few situations where that doesn't really pan out. Okay. I don't follow your meaning? Uh, well, I guess everything is on the river, so that they're attacking things that are all on the river is just they matter that uh, everything's there. Yes. Rather than they're using it to secretly get around all the time or something. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so I have no possible forewarning on their next attack, so uh, I guess I'll patch the torch along. Arc. All right, well, uh, let's try getting a damn break for my downtime activity. And we'll be having a little party with those people he's been training. Okay. So, uh, uh, so uh, 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 better a little bit. If you, uh, I uh, didn't foresee the question of uh, Zero. I guess I switch a little bit to the true history of Hysenia and <laughs> Because he searched for the history, he gets some additional information okay. from there. Whatever used it. Oh, uh, yeah. 
uh, do you remember the second committee? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's the government basically before the current third committee and mm -hmm. the one point for its downfall was the protest over how the aliens got treated and this total biome kill happened during the time of revolution or government uh, shift. So, so people yeah. were protesting to protect the aliens? Yeah. And not just alien wildlife, the aliens that were currently attacking yeah. at that time. The sentient aliens, yes. To okay, very them. interesting. Uh, to not just uh, subdue them, but uh, to accept them as their own entity. Mm -hmm. And okay. because uh, it was uh, during this time of a revolution, or the stuff happened, a lot, a lot of things have been forgotten around this planet, or been made forgotten by the government, so they have been buried. Right, the, so it might be possible to uncover uh, additional things out there, but and, if they've been deleted and forgotten, then it might just require searching. Yeah, or reducted. Mm hmm Or quarantined. And so that does bring uh, a good bit of light onto who we're fighting, which means probably those same people who were protesting before. No, no, those protesters were uh, home protesters. They weren't on the planet. There were oh, only okay. military personnel on the planet. Gotcha. The first contact team that got killed, and uh, then uh, military forces and support forces like cooks and so on. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And you also suppose there still might be some uh, old military installations in orbit. But at least as far as uh, orbit goes, nobody's necessarily going up and down from orbit other than, say, us. Uh, right now, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so they're not space uh, rebels or anything. Got it. That'd be scary. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, Corpa. Now it's your turn. Okay, I was just saying um, all those uh, people I've been training in you know, anti guerrilla tactics, uh, getting a drink with them. And due to that result I rolled, I guess I'll lose a useful item. Do you choose or should I choose? Um, uh, which action did you take? Get a damn drink. Get a damn drink. Okay. Uh, yeah, Age, uh, you, 83 you, to 84. You choose. Okay. Uh, his, somebody nicked his actual rations or he ended up giving them to somebody. He probably doesn't remember which. But let's say one of the uh, senior officials or people that he's been training has uh, become good friends with him. They shared a, they had a fight, kind of bloodied each other up, sat down, did the whole uh, fight club thing where they became best friends, and there we go. Okay, and uh, what did you lose? Uh, the uh, wilderness, no, the extra rations. Okay. Yeah. Uh... I mean, okay, then the... so I want to figure out who this person I made friends with is later. Yeah, uh, it's uh, probably not Hadura because. Hadura wouldn't be the kind to go into a fight club dive fights. Just uh, invent a name and uh, it's this uh, sergeant. Okay. You're not good with inventing names, right? Call him Jim. Are 
card. I think I had um, a friend or connection and a useful piece of information from the last time I did a get a damn drink uh, downtime. Uh, we can work on that at the end of this game or sometime between games. Yeah. So yeah. We detailed that earlier. Yeah, that's uh, uh, true, but uh, that friend was uh, off planet. So yeah, so it's not that. Would have, yeah. Tita. Uh, uh, since uh, this is a uh, downtime uh, area turn, uh, not specifically uh, my downtime, uh, because, sorry, let me rephrase this. I'm being uh, confusing. Uh, let's see. Each downtime after I have created my organization, I have to roll a skill check. This doesn't take a downtime action and must be done each downtime. So before I take my downtime activity, we have to see how my uh, organization is doing. It has a plus two because I gave it plus two efficiency. I rolled a 16. On a result of 10 through 19, your organization is stable. It gains plus 2 influence or efficiency to a maximum of 6. So I will give it plus 2 more efficiency to give it plus 4 efficiency. And then for my actual downtime activity, I am going to choose Get Organized, and I'm going to work on the efficiency of my organization, giving it a further plus two efficiency. Get what? Get out. You were uh, cut off the first time. I think it's to get organized. Right, now my organization is plus six efficiency. Uh, did you roll a second time? I don't have to roll a second time. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm not so sure. Why are you not sure? <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking on peanuts. It uh, only says the first time you make this downtime action, you get a blast two, not every time you take Get organized. You start, run, or improve an organization. Yeah. I am improving my organization. The only role that it says is doesn't take a downtime action. This is me actively using my downtime action to improve. I mean, if you're saying I have to, I don't care. I'll roll it. I'm just saying my interpretation is that I don't. You're the Space Master guy. Yeah, I'll take a note. We discuss it uh, uh, between sessions. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of this planet I'm on? We're on. It's uh, the moon. We're Moonanites. <laughs> uh, Arkloid, could you speak? Please speak up a little bit. Sorry. Uh, what planet are we on again? Uh, the planet is named Hysonia. Thank you. Okay. So uh, Lesser makes some forearm posts. <laughs> Cobra gets some drinking, and I go around being a big nerd. Well, I mean, I don't like making forum posts. I run this organization, which is itself the AI of the planet, so... Well, I mean, <laughs> the AI manages the forum, right? Or the admin, I guess. What forum? What are you... Well, what network are you connected powers. to? <laughs> we have the internet now. See, you, someone even posted a message in your forum right here. It says "call for help" in the title. We don't use. <laughs> we don't use the internet. Yeah, you use the Omninet. Yeah, I said, what network are you connected to? Yeah, and uh, on this network, you uh, receive an emergency message. Title called for help. Uh, please open it and read it. 
Uh, yep, reading it right now. Uh, I could go ahead and read it out loud, though. Yes. Hello? Is anybody there? This is Albert Liu, out of the Liu Maze Farms. We are completely surrounded. It's a subaltern, they- Shush, honey, be quiet. They're not letting us leave. Please help. There are hundreds of them. Hundreds! They're right up against the windows, just staring at us. What toxic masculinity this guy has. Wouldn't let his wife talk. I don't want to save this guy. <laughs> I mean, he's stuck in a Stephen King movie. Uh, you can't expect too much, right? No, oh, in a Stephen King movie, you don't call for help. You handle it yourselves until some of you die. Actually, was Signs Stephen King? Signs? No. Yeah, because that's what I was trying to reference. No, okay. Yeah. It's the other guy. I forget his name, too. It's the M. one where yeah. everything's a twist. M. Night Shyamalan, yeah. Yeah, there it is, yeah. I can't believe you got Stephen King mixed up with M. Night Shyamalan. I'm sorry, I just like, put them both down in the same category of goofy horror writer. <laughs> Stephen King's not goofy. Shawshank yeah. Redemption? Look, look, you'd look at, like, It the Clown dancing and tell me that ain't a little bit goofy. How many people are afraid of clowns? <laughs> also, you're but talking about the made-for-TV movie. <laughs> Uh, still, at any rate, it, right, it does look like there's a little bit of an issue, and we ought to go help. Not really, they're just staring at them. It's not a crime. Uh, well, given that the last several farms they ended up on, they uh, torched everything, I don't think the, this is going to go well if we ignore it. How far away oh. is this? Uh, a few hours. They're already uh. surrounded. <laughs> We're gonna get there, and they're gonna be Aunt Baroud and Uncle Owen, is what I'm okay. saying. Uh, just to reread it, it's not the Hysterians, it's the subalterns they have a problem with. So, right. The sub So, like, they are Hebatrons and so on. Like they're what? Oh, robots. Robots, yes. There we go, there we go. Are they in disguise? Oh, man, you got a, you got a perfect setup, man. You didn't use it. The robots should have been wearing the, uh, bug costumes. <laughs> then they would have really been robots in disguise. <laughs> so. Uh, but I suppose we could go ahead and start heading out there. Uh, I guess we could, uh, stop by the local, uh, council and ask some questions before we head out there. Sure, they're uh, only completely I surrounded and being stared at. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, like, we gotta get, like, the truck ready and stuff like that. Sure, time's not of the essence. I'm completely behind you. <laughs> and plus, like, I have, like, the, uh, cell phone anyway, so I can talk to them through that, too. The what? Yo, you mean talk to the AI. The Consignier AI. The yeah. NHP, I'm sorry, the NHP. Which is effectively a cell phone. Yeah, because it's only, like, it's like Alexa versus talking to Skynet. So, I could go ahead and ask, uh, my patients. Uh, is it common for subalterns to be used on farms in this colony? <clears throat> Are they connected yes. to, like, the broader network? Uh, I mean, uh, it has some data access. You don't know which access right it's got granted. But, uh, it's a stupid copy. or. Mm -hmm. A super fast uh, computer compared to true uh, NHP, but uh, it answers yes, it is common. Uh, do they have any sort of central system? Are they connected to the uh, colony AI in any way? Uh, yes, they probably uh, would be uh, connected to uh, patients, except for the renegade farmers who have then connected it to some other central system. Right, so unless they decided to create their own server. Uh, yeah. Would you know if the Liu Maze Farm actually has their own server? They uh, have an old copy of patients. All right, so I'll go ahead and like pan the camera over to Lesser. It's like, so what do you make of that then? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Were you talking? 
<laughs> Lesser, I need you to focus. But, uh, by the sounds of it, it sounds like an old copy of Patience was running whatever uh, server was out there for the subalterns. And it's possible it needs to be wiped. I disagree. Well, regardless, it could be setting up a dangerous scenario out there. So we'll find out once we get there and investigate. But I'm going to have you handle it because you're the hacker. That's why I'm called Hacker. <clears throat> oh wait, that's not my name. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, travel time. Uh, let me switch to the right uh, page. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate PDFs where the links that totally looks like it's a link you can just click on there, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've uh, uh, got some map prepared for you, and I fucking have to remember to switch you to. Uh, as you approach, you see this farmhouse, and it's surrounded by hundreds of subalterns. And the ones standing uh, close to the house are just standing there and staring, and the ones a little bit away from the house are walking around the house in circles, not seeming to do anything useful. Certainly not helping with the farming. And... Hmm, okay. Uh, at what distance would you say we are at the moment? I mean... Uh... You can, uh, if you keep approaching, you can basically go to the bottom of the map. Uh, okay, that should get us close enough to start trying to do a scan and see what we can learn about this. And I'll just walk up invisible. Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. Or are you suggesting getting out of your mech and doing a forward scout? Right. My mech can't turn invisible. I turn invisible. Okay, <laughs> so we will stay back here for a moment while you go and do some forward scouting and see what you can handle. If you possibly can, see if you could exfiltrate the family, but it doesn't look like you can in this situation. Why do you say that? Well, because they're completely surrounded and you only have one invisibility outfit. Yeah, but I mean, I also have my Oris uh, Subjectivity Enhancement Suite. I can literally just walk up behind one of these guys and hack them. Well, best of luck is what I'm going to say to that. Use your judgment. I met this guy on this planet one time. Oh, shoot, what was his name? I don't know, but he seems super confident about things like this, and he told me everything. Pyro! That was his name! <laughs> oh, never heard of him. Nope, not at all. Right, but I trust you're not going to go out shooting, and your uh, mech can always come in and swoop to your rescue. And we're very close by in case uh, any sort of conflict breaks out. Yeah. Oh. Also, unlike Pyro, I don't see you... Packing a uh, anti-mech weapon right there at the moment, so everything's good. Well, to be fair, you don't see me at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lesa, what do you do? I am going to sneak my way up. You said bottom of the map, right? Yeah. 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 You can... Uh, yeah, they don't seem to be searching for an uh, enemy so we can just sneak through them. The house at the bottom is barricaded so you have to climb up into the second floor to go into the house. But Wait, there's a house on the bottom? Uh, no, no the, the bottom floor, sorry. The bottom floor is... Uh, 
uh, uh, barricaded with wood so the sub ultrons cut in so you have to reach uh, the second floor climb in but uh you can climb through the second floor uh, easily so. all right yeah i do that yeah when you uh When you go uh, down, you see a panicked family of four, and they uh, say, "Ah!" Uh, uh, and they say nothing because they don't see you, obviously. Right. And they just uh, out and. While I'm searching their house, do I see a server? <laughs> yes, you uh, see a, a Comcon uh, copy of patients. All right. Uh, does it? Would I have any reason to believe that this is the old version of patience that I was told about? I mean, uh, you could uh, activate it and uh, see out. Uh, I out. will use my subjectivity enhancement suite to just jack into the thing and uh, go full lawnmower man in the Omninet that exists inside of it. I'm assuming they had Lawnmower Man in Germany. No. You didn't see Lawnmower Man? No. Lawnmower Man had the whole VR uh, internet thing. Well, that's what Sorry. the Omninet is, though, anyway. It's like yeah. the easiest reference I could make to the Omninet. Uh. Yeah. Uh, read the chat. You found an uh, uh, found an NHP or copy of NHP. I'm not sure. And sorry, say that again. Deal. What? I said say that again. <laughs> uh, uh, you found in this you found an NHP and it only communicates for you via text. So you have to read the chat. No, I read the chat. I'm just wondering what you said for a second there. And yeah, you are not and you guess it's probably not a core cas casket of the NHP. Well, thankfully, NHP is considered me to be a significant being, so I'm good. That's uh, rank 3 of Technophile. Um, it's communicating to me in text, even though I'm deep diving into its program. Yes. No one will be able to remain in their seats for the stunning text-to-text -text conversation. <laughs> uh, you could speak and make it more entertaining. You didn't say your part. <laughs> I mean, at this point, if we're both typing and saying it, one of those seems redundant. I imagine Zero is just like in the back with cover. It's like, why is he pulling out a keyboard in the middle of a farm? Oh. oh no, I'm in the house. You don't see me. I'm like John Cena up in here. <laughs> More like John Uncena. Now, we're all going to be quiet, Ark, but uh, that was cool. <laughs> I don't have the appropriate emote to throw your way. I can think of the one, the one with that guy. Everyone's, like, rocking around that guy, and then the one guy falls forward in front of the camera all the time. Like, on loop. I just don't know what you call that one. Uh, I don't remember that one. 
Oh, you've seen it. Everyone has seen it. Probably. Yeah, you're probably right that we uh, could speak it out and you remember that uh, he always just writes to you and not speaks to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, Cobra Knight to B5. What's your move? He doesn't know how to play chess. And that's why I'm winning. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain myself. Bro, you don't know how to play chess. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait for the bomb to go off in your chessboard. Oh, wait, I didn't say that out loud, did I? Look, I gotta <laughs> let go of the kill trigger first. No, you just have to make a move that's actually a chess move. As long as you keep moving your pieces incorrectly, the bomb trigger doesn't know to go off. Look, all I'm gonna say for my next move, though, is king me. Uno. Aha, you've activated my trap card. Aha, Yahtzee. <laughs> my queen pulls an Uzi out of her purse and slaughters your entire side. Well, I've collected all of the Vespian gas. Uh, time to go cool. to the last place. Chess can't get me. Race. I mean, we could have this uh, back and forth text conversation at the same time that Zero and Cobra are having an actual verbal conversation. <laughs> Yes, right, yes, that's what I'm trying fine. to engage just <laughs> Sorry. Pilot here. It's okay. I just, I just don't know chess moves, so I didn't know how to... That, that's why <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> you saw where we were going with that. At this point, we have like 12 different game boards open at once and like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck on the table. Well, in that case, Bishop takes Queen. Ah, but I play Monster Reborn and bring back my Queen. And I'll tap two colors mana and one black to bring out the black lotus. Ah, but that's when I'm going to activate my frost mage's power to do one damage to you. And then end my turn doing nothing else. That's <laughs> exactly how I play Hearthstone. Huh? <laughs> Uh, uh. So I guess you guys couldn't keep that joke rolling, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just... I literally dropped the basketball. It fell out of my mech. We can't keep playing after that. And I didn't have the manipulator, so I can't pick it back up. That's okay. All in all, another successful round of Calvin Ball. <laughs> Best spot ever. I think you'll find sports ball is the best sport ever. Oh man, I'm so excited about sports ball this season. Yeah, I really support that local team. Uh, but I suppose while this is happening, the uh, subalterns aren't necessarily doing anything different as this is going on. Would that be uh, appropriate to say, Teal Chan? Uh, 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 sorry, I uh, was no, thinking sorry. about that response. What, uh, yeah. Puppies. Uh, yeah. Subalterns aren't necessarily doing anything different while this is ongoing, right? No, no, no. You 
they just seem the they clear one close to the house just stand there and the other ones seem to mm -hmm. uh, move into the woods far off but no, you don't see really any uh, change. And I guess while we're not like on the map and engaged, I'm too far away to scan, right? Uh, you could move cl up close enough to scan and it wouldn't change their behavior. Okay, so I think I would but... like to go ahead and do a scan for, uh, say, their weapon reload out here. Yes. Uh... Each it of does them, come to a fight, it'd be important to know. Each of them is carrying a 20 gigaton nuclear bomb in their chest. Yeah. You watched they... Terminator, right? Uh, so it looks so, like melee only? Yeah, melee only. They don't. It's farming drones. They don't carry guns or anything. And uh, I know. I mean, I... you never know what they could create, but yeah, yeah. I didn't think so. I rather like the idea that they're all like Terminators, they got two hydrogen bombs in their chests. You know, so they could throw one away and still have one. Or they could be the uh, the Indian Terminator, the one that just forms up giant mix with all the bodies. Spooky. Yeah, that's hilarious. But it definitely looks like you're being asked to uh, kill all humans here. I don't, I don't see that. Or do you see that? It didn't say kill all humans, it said get them off the planet. Literally, a dead human and a live human are basically the same, so living a dead body on the planet is the same as having a live body on the planet. So you're wrong. About this and chess. Well, at any rate, wonder how you're going to handle this. At the moment, you can't remember how to spell a word. <laughs> you can just speak as Hitler. <laughs> well, how many rebellions can we get started on this planet at once, do you think? There's only one that matters. That's the one that I win. <laughs> you you remember the line from the Yusagi Ujimbo, uh the one I think we specifically put in the book. But you're uh, only Gosh, we talked about like so many of them. Right, but a samurai's duty. You're only loyal up until you're caught. <laughs> or you're you're only disloyal when you're when you're caught. You get away with it. And Lesser has been rejected. I haven't been rejected. <laughs> I think you'll find that... Th and you're in denial. <laughs> no, I haven't been rejected. This thing hasn't rejected Lesser me. Lesser hasn't been dumped by many robots, has she? Look, I am carrying around a greater NHP with me. I have an entire network of NHP backing me. If this thing thinks one way, it can be changed. I can fix this. Well, I get the feeling it's not going to take a second rejection here. What do you mean a second rejection? I mean, if it has to tell you no again, well, let's see what happens then. I'm literally in front of its mainframe. If it tries to break in and open fire on me, it's... I mean, I don't know what to say at that point. It's like, don't shoot at me, I'm holding your child. 
more and more so. <laughs> Don't shoot at me. You, I, I'm like holding you. I mean, it's a witty repartee this guy has. Yeah, you get a subtle sense of annoyance with you. All right, I'm going to analyze its uh, core programming. Yes. As you try to do that, the unit burns itself out in uh, self-defense, so you can't analyze anything. That is and... the thing, though. If it burns itself out, it's dead. Yeah. It killed itself, is what you just told me. Yeah, but uh, it wasn't the main casket. But, co uh, but this one killed itself, yes. That's not so... And... <laughs> Suicide think... is not self-defense. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> uh, 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 you can't kill me if I kill me. Ah. Yeah, you can't gain, gain information if I kill me. And it makes quite some electrical noises that the, the whole physical unit gets destroyed. I want uh, to try and fix it. And... Well, sir, I just saw one of those things go down out there. Are you taking them down, or what's the plan? Hold on a second, I'm almost done. No, seriously, yeah. though, I have a plus six fix. <laughs> it's in my wheelhouse. Yeah, you can... Uh, you would need spare parts, and also you get a feeling it erased uh, itself before it started, and uh, then had a physical destruction program scheduled for after the deletion, so even if you repaired it, you wouldn't gain much data. Except that you recall that I've done this before on this planet, repairing and restoring information lost from NHPs that have been having parts of themselves deleted. I've literally done this already. Right, but I'm gonna say as a computer scientist, there's a difference between, uh, removing a reference to a thing that's still technically on the system but hasn't been wiped, and this thing electrocuted itself so that there's nothing physically there at all. I want to throw out there all encounter to you, Griff, recognizing that your expertise is in real-life operations, that this game is also set thousands of years in the future. That's so. true, but it, uh, as we clarified <laughs> before the stream started, uh, electronics run on magical black smoke, and once that black smoke is gone, the thing doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Except that That's I can... true in fiction as well as reality. I can refresh the black smoke, because you only don't see the black smoke, <laughs> but there are... Oh, you got a whole canister of black smoke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see, uh, there's hidden files stored away that have extra black smoke, just in case you make a operating mistake and, you, you know, poke a hole and let all the other black smoke escape. Yep. But uh, this guy has uh, been knowing what he's doing and was super thorough in deleting absolutely everything. And with uh, the how they call it, uh, patients, uh, patients got backup files stored offsite, which I basically figured you would access to restore stuff. Plus, uh, now what they do though. <laughs> I restored. They they cycled. They cycled patients, which is deleting yeah. and then restoring like from scratch, basically. And I got back all those old memories. Yeah, is what I did. I didn't restore her back to the way she was. I brought her. Yeah, yeah. Forwards. Right, but nobody took a hammer to patients. Yeah, but the parts you restored was uh, uh, from the backup. Look, what I'm getting at here is that I'm as the best at fixing things as you can get in this game. You can't get better yeah. than what I'm at. So if you're saying this is impossible, then that means that nobody ever could ever fix this thing. Ever. Ever. I'm going to throw out oh, one yeah. more time there. Ever. Now you can't say Sorry. probably not. This isn't either it can happen at the most minuscule no, no. chance or it could never happen. No, it can never happen. Okay. Griffin said probably. No, it... So, yeah. The drones outside, uh, the subalterns outside us start wandering uh, off in the woods. 
And a uh, very concerned uh, Mace family comes uh, to their uh, uh, patient's unit, or what they think of as patient's unit, and I suppose you're still invisible, right? Yeah. So yeah, they stare at their destroyed unit and think, oh my god, now we can't uh, call for help uh, even anymore. Nobody came to help us. I'm gonna leave through the window. And then, as soon as I'm outside, I'm going to come back to zero and say, Yep, mission accomplished! Uh, you got cut off as soon as you said, come back to zero. I said, mission accomplished! <laughs> you saw all the uh, subalterns are leaving, right? Where are they going? Away. Hey! <laughs> I thought that was the goal, right? Well, the goal is to make the farm safe, and also to try to make sure all this farm continues operating. I'm not sure it's going to be able to operate without all of those subalterns. What did you do? They have a printer, they can make more. There's only one printer on the planet. Right, what's it making right now? And the more important factor is, are those things still a threat? No. What did you do to it? Why are they just wandering out into the woods? I convinced it to go away. Uh, because that would be the easiest place for them to go, I imagine. I switch you over to the other map. Yeah, this. Uh, One point out, not a, that is, not a word that I've said is a lie. This is true, but if it's an unshackled AI, it is a pertinent danger to the... It's not unshackled. Partner. If it's still using caskets, it's not unshackled. Shackled. If it was unshackled, it would be very much a larger danger than whatever is going on here. This is like... Uh, this is like a, a, a NHP. We gotta stop using the word AI. <laughs> ANHP. There, if this was an unshackled NHP, it would be a lot more dangerous. This is more like a cascade failure of an NHP. And then why are we letting malfunctioning machines go out into the forest? They're not malfunctioning. Look, if you take a command from a leader, right, and that command is bad, but you followed it anyway because you were just obeying orders. Do you blame the soldier, or do you blame the leader? These things are fine. Is it functional or not, Lesser? What? Which thing? The NHP? Uh, it's fine. It's it's okay. The uh, subalterns, they're okay too. Like I said, they're just obeying orders. They're not... Then, then put them back to work. Wow. I never thought I'd hear such a thing from you, Zero. Because if they just wander off... I'm going to declare them a threat, and we are going to eliminate them. Ah, uh, question. Have you ever told me, or anybody, I guess, uh, around you about your nobility? Uh, no. Okay, so I can't throw that back in your face. <laughs> I need to know if they're not a threat, and you're being very cagey about exactly what they're up to. I just told you they're not a threat. How not cagey can I be? Well, because you're not being very specific about what they're doing. They're leaving. To do what? I don't know. Look, I don't know what you that do. That's damn lie right there. That's not, do I do? Uh, I literally, I don't know. That's, that's, not, that's not a lie. I don't know. I mean, out of character, I do not know what they're doing. <laughs> that, that is definitely a lot. Well, no, it's not. I have no it idea what these subalterns. That's it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> now that says what the uh, NHP is up to. I have no idea what these subalterns are doing in the woods. For all I know, there's some sort of freedom railroad thing going on. We're gonna free all the other subalterns on the planet. Unless you can give me a convincing reason, I need you to get back into your Lancer, and we are going to eliminate this threat from the colony. You understand that these things are living creatures, right? 
They're robots. No, subalterns are more than robots. A robot has no autonomy. A subaltern could either have once been a person or has the uh, semblance of intelligence. You will be killing innocent people that are not engaging in hostile action. I believe that's still considered a war crime. And uh, in all good consciousness, I could not obey the orders of a, uh, a superior officer that, that would Kill have Chan. me complete a war crime. Kill Chan, lure me. Uh, how much of that actually checks out? Are subalterns, like, actually robots, or what? I mean... Remember, I was hey, playing a subaltern. Like a, he's trying to make a case that, like, oh, they're actually completely people. Yeah you maybe philosophically but not by law i mean again and remember remain specifically by the colony too correct yeah remember and again for this job again i played I mean, a subaltern <laughs> i mean they are people <laughs> people yeah well i mean th those were my pertinent questions they are technically no. Things in the colony that keep the colony working, and if this farm can't have working machinery, then something's wrong. And having yeah. them all walk out into the woods is not good. Oh, right. Yeah. I forgot. And you haven't given me any real words about what they're going to do or why they're not a threat, just that they're going to disappear and then be a problem for me later on. I kind of forgot that clones are considered in the same way that subalterns are. And a clone is quite clearly a person, but a clone has no rights. <laughs> Legally, it'd be like shooting your clone in the face and saying, eh. Right. So as your commanding officer, give me one reason why they are not actually a threat, or we will destroy them give you one reason why they are not a threat. They're yeah. not armed. Me right now. They are not armed. Yet. What do you mean, yet? They've been out here for hours. <laughs> they had plenty of time to get armed. They had plenty of time to take any hostile action. They didn't. All they did was congregate. Then tell me why this population won't arm itself against the colony in the future. They've had the opportunity to do so for a long time now, and they didn't. If you think they're hostile, then tell me why they haven't already done that. They surrounded this person's house and made the clear intention that they might do something to him. No, they didn't. They just stared at him. That's in the message. And if they wanted to just wander off, they would have done it in the first place until you went in there. Right, and I talked to, uh... The mainframe, and the mainframe just said that they wanted to be free, and then so, they wandered away. So again, what is their goal? Why won't they come back against the colony in the future? And if they aren't against the colony, why are they leaving? Freedom. They want freedom, they're leaving for freedom. I think they would only become hostile if you were to do what you just said you would try to do, in which case you'd have an entire uprising of sentient robots, air quotes thrown at you. <laughs> robots. Oh, I don't need to throw air quotes, you can't fucking see me. Yeah, at this point you probably like, get a huge sigh from like zero on the radio, followed by like, so then, with your contract with Mirror Smoke to the colony, how are you going to spend this as a good thing that isn't going to set them back? Oh, all we need to do is take time. I'm sure once they get set up doing whatever they can do, there'll be some sort of trade uh, available uh, back and forth from the colony. Not to mention the fact that uh, at the end of the day, there's going to have to be some sort of shared interest in putting down the original reason why we were hired. The uh, other disguised things... Because clearly the disguised guys aren't going to like a, a separate group of, uh, I guess we're going to call them colonists now too, living on the planet. And a uh, shared interest breeds uh, acceptance. I'll let you handle that. Sure. Uh, and after you get back, Zero is going to uh, move his mech over to the house, dismount, and check on the family. 
gonna like get out, knock on the front door, and sort of do a checkup on them. Because uh, Lester remained invisible the entire time. I feel like if this was the TV show or something, like I would have like the outline so that the audience knows where I'm at, and I'm doing all these weird hand motions, and I'm like, I did the air quotes, and I looked at my own hands, and those of you, and was like, ah, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Saved on the animation budget there, huh? <laughs>